death blow. Greetings world we are a non-ghost of Halifax Anonymous. We come to you today with words that we hope do not, we repeat, do not inspire an idea. We want you to understand that we have a moral duty to share our words. We believe words have to be shared. Words have the power to educate the masses. Contrary to the government's opinion, we believe that information should be free and readily available to the masses. So with that being said we are simply sharing words. The purpose behind these words needs to be explained before we are even legally are allowed to share this video. To the legal experts and the RLCMP, we know you are watching, and our legal experts advised us this message is legal. We can only sit and have faith that these following words will educate everyone who hears them. It is no secret that there has been unprecedented unity when it comes to everyone joining in the international operation, and on down. We lost our first brother in Palestine. He was wearing our universal understood anonymous mask. The mask is a known symbol of resistance against oppressive governments. Our dear brother was executed in cold blood. The video is available on the internet for all to see. He was throwing a rock the size of a baseball when the Israeli army decided to execute him via sniper assassination after watching him from afar. Was a sniper's single shot to his head warranted for throwing a rock while wearing anonymous mask? Why was our anonymous brother's killer not arrested, tried or even questioned independently for his actions? We asked you this, but we know the answer. May he rest in peace young martyr. Now we have a loss in Canada, one year later. In Canada we have a man who was at a peaceful rally to promote awareness of the devastating, ecological practices the Canadian government has been committing against Mother Earth. They are killing our planet and our Canadian brother showed courage in attending the rally against it. James McIntyre was also executed but not by an Israeli sniper. He was gunned down by a RCMP officer. James was not an immediate threat, nor was he a danger to the officer. The officer did not hesitate when it came to pulling the trigger. The trigger happy RCMP officer had several options to choose from. We can name many alternative ways the RCMP could have handled the situation. We do not have time, but remember. None of those alternative situations end with shooting James McIntyre at point-blank range. We would like to apologize for the length of this video, but we needed to include every bit of information. This information includes a dream by an individual that we must mention before this video's conclusion. This man is not Martin Luther King, but he has a dream. A dream where after the world sees the executions of both the Palestinian and Canadian members of Anonymous, a dream that they will take action. In the dream, on the 30th day following the murder of James McIntyre, the lights go out again on the RCMP websites for two days. These are only words and a dream. No one can take this as threats, take them as they are. They are simply words of truth. We only promote the idea of anonymous. We only state the facts. But unlike the others, we will share the dreams of others. By sharing the words and dreams, dreams and words can become immortal. Our attorney said dreams are not illegal, and sharing them online is not illegal either. We are not promoting a cyber attack on August 16th of 2015. We are Halifax and on ghost. And even if we do nothing at all, RCMP, you know it's not over. We do not forgive. We do not forget. United as one. Divided by zero. The heroic join us, the corrupt fear us, the honest support us. We are everywhere. We are nowhere. We are representative of an idea. Ideas are bulletproof. Our final reminder to the world. If you kill one of us expect, one million more.
are anonymous. We do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. <laughs>